Hey, Badoob, what's going on? What the shaker? Um, before I forget, because I've been wanting to do this the last couple videos I've done, I keep forgetting. Um, ooh, that's not pretty at all. Let me try this way. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it. There we go, we'll get close. Um, the new book in the Black Star Canyon series is out book four it's called masked murder it's on amazon right now for ebooks um so if you have an ebook reader or a phone or whatever and you want to check it out um, it's here for those of you who like to start things at the beginning black star canyon's the first book for those of you who like epubs instead of mobies just let me know, and I'll make sure I could get you a copy, okay? Um, as far as paperback goes, I think I'm going to do the whole lot of them in one big paperback, um, probably at the beginning of next year. So, But if you would like to get in the story now, that's how you do it. Um, so that's that. Okay, now... I got to show you my newest five-star read. I don't know why I tried to make that like a big thing because you guys knew because of the title. But yes, um, A Princess of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Um, to be honest, like John Carter, the John Carter series had never sounded appealing to me um but after reading some of the Pellucidor books and getting on Tarzan and stuff like that I just wanted to take a look at this and see what it's like and I can't even if you liked Pellucidor or at the Earth's core you will love this book, I think. Um, I read it today. I, I, I couldn't put it down. Um, it was just nonstop. So basically, and one of the things is, this book was written in freaking 1912. Or at least that's when it was published as a serial. 1912. Over a hundred years ago. And this thing does not seem dated at all. Like, seriously. Like... <clears throat> um, one of my big things was like, how's it going to get to Mars? Is it going to be some stupid science thing that doesn't work anymore? And no, it's not some stupid science thing that's not going to work anymore. It just happens. And then that's it. <laughs> I don't know. Like he starts off on earth. Um, but it's just like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Like, a monster is created by us not telling you how it was created. Just fucking deal with it. And that's kind of how this went. And, um, man, it was just, like, action-packed. It never stopped. And... I was like a chapter away before I read the back, and when I read the back, I got pissed off because um, it kind of ruined the ending for me a little bit. That's what you get for reading the backs of books, folks. I tell you all the time. Don't read the backs of books. It's bad for you. It fucks your shit up, okay? So, <sighs> this book, um, it starts off after shortly after the Civil War um, in the Arizona desert. And then quickly you end up on Mars. And the hero of the story, John Carter, um, is with a group of, I think they're called Thards, if I remember correctly. And... Um, at first, he's not sure if he's a prisoner or if he's a friend or what. But um, as time goes, he realizes what his place is in this um, horde, we'll say. 
And um, for any of you who've already read it, Woola, that's all I'm going to say. Woola is amazing, and I want a Woola right now. Um, so just so you know, I want a Woola. Um, but then he finds that even though he's with these, like, six appendaged green giants that are the green men of Mars, um, he finds a beautiful humanoid woman who is red, um, who is, uh, captured by them and a prisoner and so the rest of the book is through every means possible is him trying to be free with his woman that he loves okay and then there's also this awesome subplot with um one of the green men and um, Sola, the um, female Martian who um, cares for um, John Carter as he's um, needing, tending to, and whatever. Oh, it's just, it's so good. From like imprisonments to escapes to war to um, like almost espionage. Um, just like freaking hell dude it was really good beginning to end um and it ended kind of how i thought it might judging by other books of his that i've read but at the same time like as much as i'm like no damn it or whatever i'm like yes like that's exactly how this kind of book should end. And um, I don't know. I think there's 11 books. Does it say how many there are on here? No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Um, but I have a bunch of them. I didn't have the first one. So I'm like really excited to keep reading these. And it's so funny because like I really, really thought that I would not be interested in John Carter at all. And, um, because of Mars's gravity, he has, like, I don't want to say, like, superhuman strength, <clears throat> but, um, it's a lot lower than Earth's gravity, so he could jump really far, and, um, the creatures of the planet, and the humans, and everybody, they don't have to have the same muscle mass in order to move around the planet. So he's, like, kind of, like, extremely strong, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so, oh, man, it was so good. Like, I really can't recommend it enough. So, until next time, everybody. Oh, um, I think me and Zoe might do a book haul tonight, which means you'll probably see this book again. Um, but... So that might actually happen. I don't know yet. So try to be back tomorrow, guys. Bye.